In today's session, we're going to talk about the wig that I have on my head right now. Her name is Amaretto, and she's in the color Coconut Silver Blonde. Hey everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome to Silver Lining. So now let's get acquainted with Amaretto in Coconut Silver Blonde, right here, right now, on Silver Linings. Now I reviewed Amaretto a few weeks back and I'll link that review for you in the description in the description box below. But I have been very curious about this color coconut silver blonde and really anxious to see what she looked like in person. I can honestly say that Amaretto is one of my absolute favorite styles and now I have her in two colors and I may purchase her in a third. As you can see she is a head full of tousled waves that land just on me mm, just a little bit below your collarbone. She is absolutely ready to wear. She is truly effortless and she is a shake and go. Put her on your head comb through her with your fingers or if you'd like comb through her with a wide tooth comb any wide tooth comb that you have and you're ready to go now I did comb through her waves just a little bit because I like waves that are broken up a little bit more um, you can see right here that little spirally way however you want it if you want more of the spirally wave then run your fingers through it when you first Put the wig on your head. Now I will say at this point that I do have an average to large head and so as usual I have right at the right at the widow's peak right there I have used some it stays and I put the it stays right here in the middle of my forehead and I brought it over to about here on both sides. Let me see if I can get a close-up for you on this beautifully done lace front. So there I think that you can get a pretty good look at how that hairline looks closer. It's absolutely, I'm looking so close at it you cannot tell it, you cannot tell that this is a wig. She feels very comfortable on my head as well. But I use it stays, as I said, because my hair is at, my head size is average to large and everything rides back on me. So again, that style is, is very, very loose, very wavy, kind of on the casual side. Hair feels very soft, feels very realistic. It is not shiny at all. If there's any shine, it's coming off of the lights, bouncing off of the fibers on, on the wig. And she is a synthetic fiber. She is not human hair. Now let's talk about this color. As I said, I believe at the beginning of the video, I did purchase Amaretto in another color. In the color that I purchased Amaretto in a few months back, is a uh, Roca Margarita Blonde, and I never thought that I'd purchase a wig with the with the with the name Blonde in it. But here she is. Now you can see that the Roca Margarita Blonde definitely looks different. She's rooted. You can see her rooting there. The color isn't tremendously different. It's very subtle. But it is it is different. Now I'm going to take uh, a couple of pictures outside so that you can get even a better idea under artificial light. It's kind of hard to tell, but the colors are close, but this one is a darker, has darker undertones, has that dark root. Coconut Silver Blonde is a blend of the following colors. She has 101, the one that's on my head, Coconut Silver Blonde is a blend of 101, 102, 103, 60, which is white, A, 23A, and 17. 
So that means it's a blend of silver, pure cool ash, and coconut blonde with platinum blonde highlights. So she feels a little more blonde y, let's just say, than the Roca Margarita Blonde. When you look at the Roca Margarita Blonde, let me share my screen with you. I think that you can see that the Roca Margarita Blonde looks very silvery grayish, doesn't it? That's why these patches are so, so difficult to purchase a wig by and why, and why I say I'm all about color. It does not look like this. It does not look like this. See, silvery, silvery swatch, does it? On the monitor, it's very interesting. On the monitor, it looks a little bit. If you split the hairs on the monitor, it looks just a tad, maybe more grayish. But when you hold her in your hand, believe me when I tell you, I would not say that this is a, a silver gray white wig. But having read the specs, I would definitely say that she is in the, in the silver gray family because she has a blend of silver, pure ash, and coconut blonde with a soft, cool, with a soft, cool, medium, and light brown root. Pretty interesting. Now, I covered the cap construction in another video on Amaretto, but I'll just briefly go over the cap here for you. Of course, she's got that beautifully done lace front. Beautifully done lace front. And it really is, on both of these pieces, very, very realistic. She is open wefted in the back for coolness and comfort. She has the bra strap-like adjusters right there. She has the covered um, the covered nape, extended nape front. You'd be able to part her anywhere where you see this and it would look like it's looking you're looking right through to your scalp, which we love, which we love. So it's you can't part her all over the top without that benefit of seeing right into the scalp. You would have to stay within that parting space right there. And if I split and if I if I let you see very closely up front where that parting is, you could see, can you see my finger moving in there? So you so where that part is underneath, you'd be able to see right through to your scalp. Very very realistic looking. Very realistic looking. I love her because you can really tossle her up. I mean, she really, I, I almost feel like the more you tossle her, the better she looks. Kind of messy.
Now, obviously, you can see that I'm wearing her with my glasses. And these are pretty sturdy glasses that I've got on here. And there is plenty of room, plenty of room below those ear tabs for the glasses. So you can see that you can do a lot with amaretto in terms of style, sunglasses, barrettes, square bands, whatever it is that you can think of. You can pull her back, you can pull her up, you could leave her down. Her hair is so light that I think you probably could even get away with her in a late spring, early summer day when there's not too much humidity. When there's too much humidity, everything bothers my neck. But I, I think that even... Even in the summertime, you could get away with her. So nice to have you with me today in this review of Amaretto in the color Coconut Silver. If you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And as, and as always, look for the silver linings, everybody. They are everywhere. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.